I don't know how to use this machine. It smells like freaking pumpkin. Baking soda is the same as baking powder, right? This just had this thing on it, right? Oh. Yeah. That's not soft, that's liquid. Oh, is it not supposed to be liquid? No. Oof. Oh, it smells so good. Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> I thought you were talking to a camera. I am. Yeah, he is. Cheers. Oh. Alright, it's perfect. Perfect frame. Right, Here's the recipe. Again. Because it's here? just because it's very trendy. It's 2019. We're staying mm -hmm. on trend. Nick Carl needs a better diet. That's true. Simon and Paul, are you guys ready? I'm gonna be here filming, but I'm not technically supposed to help. I know you're not gonna know where anything is. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Chill out, Gordon. We got this. Okay. So you want us to just follow this? Is what you said? Yeah. We need a bowl. Like, wait, are we doing them together? Or are we doing them? Separate? We're doing them together. Oh, okay. Simon, we need a bowl. Bowl I, guess, I, guess right this is my, I guess this is my house. Oh, no, not right there. Aluminum bowl. We have the same bowl at home. All right, let's get some vegan flour. As a non-American citizen, I wonder why flour is spelled like this. It reads flour. All right, vegan, vegan margarine softened. Are we supposed to leave that out? All the way in the back. It should be in a box. And butter is the same thing as margarine. Hannah, you know what, Nick used it all, actually. And he made his eggs the other day. Just kidding, it's right here. Wow! So you said, there's no way you saw the butter. This is one and one third cup. Half cup, so we need two of these. For one cup. Powdered things. sugar, margarine, soy milk, vanilla, extract, almond extract. We need softened margarine, not hardened. Do we have powdered sugar already? This is normal sugar. Do we need powdered sugar? Yeah. All right, I'm off on an adventure. Flour, cornstarch, baking soda, cream of tartar. All right, we got all our ingredients here. All right, let's oh. measure. Oh, so we're gonna need that bowl. But well, we don't need the big one, we're gonna need the little one for the ice. One and a half cup powdered sugar. I think the first ingredient we don't have. This is where you go ding, and it comes back softened. Five minutes. <laughs> Guys, it's soft. That's not soft, that's liquid. Oh, is it not supposed to be liquid? No. I thought it was supposed to be liquid. Margarine softened. We need softened margarine. It's fine, it doesn't matter. <laughs> We're really bad at this. You guys probably want to preheat the oven. That's a pro tip. Preheat the oven for what? 350? <laughs> what does the recipe say? I'll find it. 375. That was step two, Hammer. You're getting ahead of yourself. Preheating. We don't need a spoon. Can you use whatever to scoop it out? To scoop what out? The powder, the flour and powdered sugar. To measure it? Yeah. Because they're big jars. So, I you guys four are... cups of powdered sugar. You know how much icing that is? Wait four a second. cups? Hold on, time out. These are for measuring liquids. These are for measuring salt, like powders and solids. Oh, that's where it works. Okay. Four of these cups of yes. sugar. Icing is straight sugar. Wait, we might not have, we're not gonna have enough sugar. You know how much icing that's gonna be? How many, this is, I'm telling you, this is too many cookies. It's okay. Servings, 60 cookies. 60 cookies. servings. 60 we're making 60 servings. <laughs> okay. 60 servings, I think that's a bit excessive. Okay, so we had a little bit of a problem because the recipe that I picked out and also forgot to send to them in the first place was for 60 cookies. We're gonna make like a dozen. So I changed up the recipe and we're gonna keep going from where we were. Let's see how they do. Let's do two. Nope, no, that's not gonna work. Perfect. Quarter cup brown sugar. Do you have brown sugar? Oh, it smells so good. Kinda like a nice corner. Mm -hmm. Oh, this stuff's chunky. I don't know why brown sugar always reminds me of Canada. Is that a thing? Oh, it smells like Canada. Canadians, huh? Canada. All right, a quarter cup of pumpkin puree. That's in the fridge. Because no, it acts it like an egg substitute. You just a fun out, fact. This just had this thing on it, right? Oh. One tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. Yeah. Should we use vanilla and almond? Almond? Why is there an Did you say L in almond? This stuff is potent. What kind of people does that one smell like? Oof. Smells like whiskey. All right, here we go. This ad is killing us. I'm gonna put take this off the internet. One three quarter cups unbleached all purpose Plus flour. more for rolling into shapes. So we need more for rolling into shapes. I think we add it while mixing so it doesn't clog up. 
because I'm an expert. What is and cream? Did we already do and cream? Well, no, the, you cream the butter, you make it like cream, oh, and cream. consistency. Lots here? of options here. I don't know how to use this machine. You don't know how to use it? And now you're... Is it plugged in? Yeah. Wait, here we go. A minute, it's A little faster? Hey, this actually works really good, I'm shocked. And now we add the flour slowly. Okay, I knew what a sifter was, but I didn't know we had one. Yeah, we put the dry ingredients through that. Oh, and we already did that. We already... No, the dry ingredients is oh, flour okay. and sugar. So we put this over it. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Alright, so one and how many cups? Should it be? One and one, I'm pretty sure. When you measure flour, make sure the top of it is even so you just use the back of a butter knife and scrape it across. One I do three, more like cup. the Jamie Oliver cook cooking style where you don't really measure anything, you just go for it. Like it's yeah. baking! So how do you measure three fourths? One fourth. Just do three of the one fourth. One drawer down. Simon, don't worry, I got this. Done. <laughs> mix until incorporated, being careful not to over mix. Then add almond milk and mix until soft dough is formed. This goes here. I'm gonna drop, slide this in right next to your leg real quick. There's a more white powder stuff. This is gonna be really crumbly, I feel like. I think that's what it's supposed to be though. Super crumbly. It smells like freaking pumpkin. Mix until incorporated. Are we making pumpkin cookies? Then add almond oh, milk sure? and mix until soft dough is formed. Switch to a wooden spoon if it gets too thick. It appears too wet. So we add the one to two tablespoons. TSP. Teaspoons. Alright, teaspoon is right here. That's TSP? Yeah. Yep. One to two. We felt it was crumbly, so add two. And cover and food. How are you supposed to make enough cookies out of this little thing? Get a little You can uh, make like scraper. 20 cookies out of that. Like a little spatula? Here? Yep. The little rubber one? Yep. Take one of Nice. Very nice. And you scrape the this off of it and then scrape the sides and you just let it mix a little bit. Alright, I think it doesn't mix well enough. Alright, so now what do you have to do? Put it in the freezer for 15 minutes? Yes. Should we do that? Yep. Do you have like saran wrap? Yes, I do. You want to saran wrap it? Alright, so these guys are going to put in the freezer, but in the meantime... Can we use this or no? Nope, that's for baking. In the meantime, Nick Carl is going to do dishes. In the meantime... <laughs> in the meantime... Maybe it's we'll just, oh, you're just going to enjoy the Nick cookies Carl's and Nick Carl is going to ask you guys some questions while you start to clean up. Uh, who's your favorite old school disc golfer? The champ Ron Russell, Scott Stokely, or other, or even just an unknown local legend that helped them when they first started playing? Lane Kick! My favorite is Terry Miller, the disc golf guy, the OG, the guy that started on YouTube. Yeah, Terry Miller's a good one. He inspired me to do a lot of videos. Oh, I have a splinter. I had quite a few inspirational people for me growing up because I had, there was a few local pros that I looked up to playing. Um, three that probably were the most influential to me, which would be Robert McEntee, Kyle Crabtree, and Stephen Gailey. Kyle Crabtree? Yep. Kyle's, Kyle's old. He's Isn't he old. from Washington? He's not from Washington. He lived in Huntington when I started playing. So those three are the most influential and probably the ones I looked up to the most. And I still get to compete against Crabtree, which is cool. McEntee's still playing regionally, Southern California. And Stephen Gailey moved to Arizona, so every time I go to Memorial, I get to see him. So. It's cool they're all still involved in disc golf in some way. Hardest course on the Pro Tour? Probably Idlewild. Idlewild, I agree. It's the hardest. I think it's just the lines. They're all so different. You're in the woods the whole time. There's nowhere you can really open up. And then when you do, it's like super tight woods. I mean, tight ropes. And then the greens are pretty tricky. Um, and then my course that I'm building here is kind of has some holes inspired by Idlewild. So can't say that about many other courses. You got it? Yeah. And he's using my face tweezers to get a... Are you sure you got it? Thorn yeah, out of Simon's foot. Can't that even see it. Drop dropped Simon. It dropped him. He went down. 
When we pull it out of the oven, we just have a thing of Oreos on the... <laughs> yeah. That was on purpose? I got it. I had to walk all the way through the woods and over some stones. Oh, don't tell Carve people it where out. we live. You a tree just now? Yeah, dude, I, cut, I cut it up for you. Having a roller really makes this a lot easier. <laughs> Where's my cookie cutter? You <laughs> put these next to each other. See, Simon's like kind of just all over the place over there. That's like my disc golf game. That's it. That's it. Uh, uh, you We're gonna make more. We're gonna make it. more. We're just gonna okay. take this out. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, this one's toast. You gotta start at the head. Careful. So this recipe said a dozen cookies, and we're gonna make like fifty. It's probably like twenty-four cookies or something. At least it's not sixty cookies like the last recipe that we tried. You guys, they look so cute. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! That looks like it needs flour. Do you really like your flour? Huh? Yes, I'm German. Oh my god, I just broke another one. <laughs> All right, we have questions. If your friends from home said, let's chill, what does that mean? What are y'all doing? Playing board games, or Madden, or disc golf, or working out. Playing pool, or going to a bar, having a drink, having dinner. Making cookies. Making cookies, or... Is there any one specific skill in disc golf that either of you would like to steal from the other? Oh, you guys have to say something nice about the other person. Does confidence and self-belief count yes. as a skill? Yeah. Then I would go for that. Going to a tournament and just going to enjoy it rather than always wanting to win. You go and just, like, you just go to tournaments and you just want to have fun rather than win the tournament. So it would be nice going to, like, Nantucket or something just going to enjoy rather than trying to win. Okay, here's a question from Jerry Gomez. Hello, Jerry. We love you. Based on how well you know each other, what Christmas present would you buy for the other person? I would probably hit up my buddies Valerie and Nate Doss and get him some beveled beer because I know how much Simon loves beer. I would get Paul some concert tickets to his favorite artist, which is Drake. I have no <laughs> Drake. Room. I mean, if you got me tickets, I'd go, but he's not my favorite artist. Look how little his one arm is. It's a little Nemo. That's you. <laughs> Little arm. <laughs> Wait, you're the short arm on most of the late arms. You're right. Oh my god, they look so good. Take them out, take them out, take them out, take them out. They don't look ready yet. They need like another. They're gonna keep seconds. cooking when you take them out. Use your non throwing hand next time, um, just in case. These look like they need another. Yeah, they need definitely another. Oh, they were still soft. Okay, they're your cookies, so. I promise my cookie skills are not that bad. They need you didn't set up the timer again. Right? <laughs> we don't need a timer. They still feel soft. You want to feel them? No, that's perfect. Take them out. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm serious. Take them out. You don't want them to burn. They don't burn yet. Look, they're not even really dark brown yet at all. <clears throat> Leave them another five minutes. No! Right here. Uh, eight minutes. Ten. Eight for safety. Um, well, Simon just put the cookies in for eight hours, so I'm just gonna fix this really quick. <laughs> it's fine, we've all been there. Cookies are done. Let's let them cool, and then you guys can decorate them. We have a hat full of disc golfers' names. Um, and I'm first. we both do four. Okay. Whatever you pull, obviously, you have to create on a cookie. Okay, so Paul, you start. Oh! oh. 